This is a Modesto ash. It's a fairly common tree in our area. And it is a tree that is recognized as having some problems. Now in walking around the trunk of the tree, if you look at the unions of the limbs, you can clearly see where the potential for splitting is going to occur. Now step back and look at that a little bit better. Walk over to this side and you can see where it has split and grown around and split and grown around. So the weakness is quite evident on this trunk all the way down. It's kind of interesting, the two limbs pushing on each other up there. So, this tree will be removed. And that's just kind of sad. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why we're removing this. A long time ago, somebody cut off this section here. And I, was, I put a probe down in there that went in there about 20 inches. There's some fungus growing here. This crack extends all the way up and over. Now we made the discoveries of some decay in the heartwood of two pieces here. There's a little bit over here. Now, I, I spoke to the client a few months ago about this. I actually wrote an arborist report, and I gave them two options. I said, you can either cut the tree back really hard, cable it together, and know that it's got the defects, or you can start over. They opted to start over. And I've not cut into this, but it's, it's kind of interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take a couple of cuts here and dissect this and open it up, and I'll show you what we find. It's always interesting to open up a tree. Now this little area right here, that's kind of interesting. This is just a, uh, a little decay pocket. It looks like an old flush cut. And I split it in half when I cut it down. And look what I found. It was full of termites all the way down. It stops there, but it goes all the way back up and it's up over here again. So even that little tiny wound right there that was so obscure and inobvious created a fairly significant weakness on this limb. Uh, the reason that we took the tree down is also the fact that it had a big split. It broke out a great big limb. So there's heart rot in all these areas. Is it directly associated with this? Well, very possible. We'll find out. we we'll get in there and make a couple more dissecting cuts. All the way through yet. Thought it was. Close enough. Okay. I'm gonna blow that off. Wow, well, the picture's worth a thousand words. You can see it extends all the way around and it still goes in there quite a ways. You can see the discoloration all the way around. Well, let me take another six inches off and see what it looks like further down. Yeah, those cracks go all the way through that. Let's see what it looks slice. like. Anyway. The next slice took another six inches off. Ooh. Well, this, these ones are still a little bit connected. Yeah, let's slide all the way over this side. Well, it's going to be pretty, pretty sound below that. Well, I'm curious. I'm going to take another six inches and just keep nibbling it down.
Okay, this is cut number three. Right? Number three. Cut! <laughs> wow. A little video, video humor there. Oh, that one oh. fell apart too. It's still right up to the edges. Right up over here. The wood is sound, it's that crack, it's a structural weakness. But it's amazing that the tree split so dramatically. Let's do one more cut. Sharp saw. <laughs> okay. Reveal. Look at this. All the way to the end. It's cracking to this side. Oh, it's coming apart again. Mm. Gee. Mm. Watch yourself. Separate trees, huh? Yeah, but now we're getting down so low, the cracks are still really close to the edge. They're thinner, but they're still they're still prominent weaknesses. But they're at a point where you really couldn't see them from the the trunk. I'm gonna blow this one off. All right, blew it off. It's got roots coming up in here and a lot of really nice soil. <laughs> Probably termites down here. And look at that, the crack right to the edge, within an inch of the edge, and that one goes right to the edge. You can see that little divider. So two of them went right to the edge, and this is the one that just fell off when I, when I cut through. So what that tells me is these cracks that I saw from the outside were indicators. Here you can barely see it almost looks like the rest of the bark but they're indicators that it was worse than I thought it was oh. that one didn't split <laughs> but the crack is coming closer together but it's still right up to the edge it goes right up to the edge here and it's a little bit further away on this one it's got about an inch Oh, look at that. Go ahead and drop it. See if it'll split apart. In order to drop it, I gotta be able to lift it. Oh, you're too weak. You're strong. Come on, Jeff. I'm gonna throw it against this. Oh, okay. All right. Self splitting wood. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look at the dirt. Oh, look at all the roots. Look at that. Adventitious roots, Blair. Yes, yes. That's amazing. Oh, I bet you you could grow some really nice something or another yeah. in this soil. Nothing better than Modesto <sighs> Yeah, now that marijuana is legal in this country, I mean this state. <laughs> Way better than uh, salt marker. <laughs> could happen. Go ahead. Ready? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Self-splitting wood, I love it. Think the next one will do it too? I don't know. All bets are off on this piece. All right, we're down to the last 12 inches or so. And the crack is starting to thin out. It comes up to about two inches from the edge over here. This one tapered out quite a bit closer. This is about six inches back. But this one still goes all the way to the edge. Look at that. Now let's see what the final cut shows. Final cut will probably be clean without any cracks. So for viewers, already there. All right, we're at the second to the last cut here. You want to do it again? This one looks pretty heavy. It does. Ugh. It's a good thing you're strong, Jeff. Yeah, boy, are you strong. <laughs> Sorry. Stand. 
<laughs> Upwind of me. Don't hit Not me. Downwind. Don't hit me. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Come on, it'll go. Oh, two. Yeah. Look at all that decay. Wow. That's not like on the break. No, that one wasn't so bad. But here, now we've got. This is interesting. The crack goes over here, over to here, but this one is virtually gone. So, two of those three cracks goes all the way to the ground. So we got one more cut to make. This has been an education for me. Okay, down to the very last cut. Now pull it off of there, Jeff. Yeah. See if you can get that one to pop in half. Yeah, I surprise. doubt. Yeah. Throw it up on that. It might if you get it right on the crack. Yeah. Damn, that's a heavy piece of wood. Well, it is. <sighs> That'd be 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, over there. Over there. Yeah, hit, hit it right smack on the log. Ooh, oh, it cracked, but not all the way. One more try. One more try. Yeah. Gotta, gotta take care of the firewood guy. Oh. Who needs a mall? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at that! <laughs> right up to the very end here. Adventitious roots all the way through. Looks pretty sound though. All the way. Let's see what the crack looks like at the ground. Here, over to, over to here. So it kind of died out right at the ground, but it's still there. I think this removal was a wise decision. <laughs>